Last week in Projects You Pin, we learned how to remove labels from wine bottles. This week it's time to try and make them into candles. Kaylin Franks shows us if it's worth the time and effort. Hello, my friends. All right, I'm always honest with you, and this week I am nervous. We are going to turn our wine bottles that last week we removed the labels on into candles. We had to get a couple supplies specially ordered from the internet. It involves a glass cutter. Who knows what's about to happen? Buckle up, here we go. Step one, we need to assemble our glass cutter. Read up on the directions for proper use and make sure that you aren't doing this project around pets or kids or anyone who shouldn't be near glass that could break. Once assembled, we need to score our wine bottles. Just stick it in the top of the bottle and steadily circle the bottle once. Next, take boiling hot water in a tea kettle and slowly pour a small and steady stream directly on the score line. It's important that you rotate the bottle here as needed. Next, you'll want to alternate between the boiling water and a cold stream of water on the score line. You should get it to crack pretty easily. This is bad. It didn't go right. Let's be honest here. We messed up a couple times. I recommend having way more bottles than you think you'll need for your first time because chances are you lose a few in the learning process. Yes! Once you've acquired some molds for the candles, sand down your edges. Our glass cutting kit came with sandpaper, so we're using these emery boards. Next up, in your double boiler, heat your wax chips in your candle making pitcher. It'll melt extremely fast, so just stir, 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 and work to get your temperature somewhere around 150. We've secured our candle wicks into the bottoms of our glasses using a bit of putty clay. You can use hot glue or whatever you choose. Slowly and carefully pour your wax into the glass, and once in there, set your wick in the middle and hold it with whatever you've got laying around. A ballpoint pen works just perfect. Allow these guys plenty of time to dry, and then light. Okay, so it took two weeks of Project Soup Pin, but in the end, we've made our wine bottles into candles. As you saw, it was pretty tough to get a perfect break, but I think that would just come with using our glass cutter more often. If anyone at home is going to recommend or try this project, I really think you should have plenty of bottles and block off an entire afternoon because this was quite a time consuming process. Join me next week for another edition of Projects You Pin. You never know, it just may be a project that you want us to try.